Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. And I know what you're thinking, <clears throat> Matumbo, where have you been for the last three months? And again, um, if you've been in the Discord, you know I've just been super busy with work. But hey, we've had some projects change around at work. We finally have some time, I think, to start making some videos again. And so that's what we're doing. We're hopping right in. Um, real quick though, one thing we have been doing a lot, we have been finding some time to actually do like a, a stream for about an hour and a half to two hours a night. Um, so we've been doing that like three to four times a week. So again, if you, if you don't follow me on Twitch, um, go check out the link down below and just like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Hit me up on Twitch. And again, I'm going to be trying to make as much content as I can, as much as I have time for. It may not be every day but we are going to give it a shot. And with this first video back, we're gonna jump right back into what we love to do, and that is casting Star of Extinction. So we are titling this deck Striking Star. So what this deck does is this deck is gonna try to ramp out as quickly as possible, and we're just gonna try to cast Haphazard Bombardment as quickly as possible, Star of Extinction as quickly as possible, and maybe even get into our sideboard with Karn. So let's hit on a couple of new cards and what what they do. Um, you've seen these cards. These are in Modern Horizons. Um, but with the new addition of Jumpstart Historic, we are able to play with these cards. So first card we're looking at is Strike It Rich. This is just a one mana spell that just creates a treasure token and it flashbacks for three. So this actually for one mana is actually going to give us the ability to get to that three mana on turn two. So we could potentially cast a Blood Sun on turn two and then have uh, a Lotus Field on turn three and then have access to five mana on turn three. Don't actually have any five drops to really take advantage of that, but we could potentially drop a Karn and then go get maybe like a Graft Digger's Cage out of our sideboard. Maybe our opponent's playing some kind of Graveyard Shenanigan. So uh, we also are still playing Mindstone because Mindstone is great ramp. Again, it's what we're trying to do. We are trying to ramp as quickly as possible into our expensive spells. Now, the big hitter here, um, the card that everybody's always bonkers for, this card is huge in modern, and now it's going to be huge in historic. I've seen all kinds of crazy mono red aggro decks already utilizing this card. It's just, just a great card. Season Pyromancer. So Season Pyromancer says for three mana, it is a two, two, but when it comes into play, you get to discard two cards and then draw two cards. And then for each non-land card discarded this way, create a one, one red elemental creature token. So this is, this is really big for a couple of reasons, right? This allows you to create one, one blockers if we need to, this will help, you know, gum up the board if our opponent's just trying to come at us with a lot of creatures and maybe we haven't drawn the removal spells that we need. But on the other hand, what this is letting us do is this is letting us discard two and then draw two. And it's very important that you notice the order there because if we don't have any cards in our hand, we just get to discard no cards and then draw two cards, which is really, really busted. And since our deck, again, is trying to ramp out uh, as quickly as possible, this will, this will help just recover our hand. So this with this deck, we are simply wanting to aggressively mulligan. We have a lot of ways to just draw ourselves out of mulligans. So we are potentially looking to keep hands with multiple strike at riches in our hand, you know, coupled with maybe a seasoned pyromancer. Even Valakut's Awakening in our in our deck is really good because maybe we we mulligan a, a semi questionable hand, and then if we have a Valakut's Awakening, Valakut's Awakening itself lets us draw ourselves out of that mulligan because we are. You know, pitching cards out of our hand, putting them back in our deck, and then drawing that many cards plus one. So again, lets us kind of draw out of a mulligan. It's really, really good. Uh, but again, you guys know the combo that I love that most people in this channel love is Blood Sun. Turn all of our lands um, into just regular lands with no abilities except for mana abilities. Blood Sun into Lotus Field. Lotus Field of course, taps for three uh, three mana of any color, usually has a drawback where you have to sacrifice two lands and it comes into play tapped. But again, if you don't, if you do have Blood Sun in play, this just comes into play untapped and can tap for three mana. Yeah, it does lose Hexproof, but you know what? When we are ramping up to six and seven mana on turn three or four, uh, it really doesn't matter because we're gonna do what we came to do. And then if our opponent has an answer, it's unfortunate, but we still got to where we were trying to get quicker than they did. 
So we also, again, have a ton of removal in this deck. We have three copies of Anger of the Gods because we want to be able to just hit those really fast creature decks at the beginning. We have a couple of copies of Storm's Wrath, again, for the same thing. This is going to allow us to hit creatures that are a little bit bigger than those two or three power creatures. This allows us to go four. This also hits Planeswalkers if we need to hit Planeswalkers. It is kind of busted. And again, we have four copies of Haphazard Bombardment. Let's us put four counters on our opponent's permanents. And then every turn we get to make them uh, essentially sacrifice one of them. It destroys it. And then we have what we're trying to do, Star of Extinction. We're trying to kill all the dinosaurs. We are dealing 20 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker and destroying land in the process. This is just one of my favorite cards. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun to me. Um, and th you really think about it, seven mana, not really too bad. But to top it off, our win condition, again, we are gonna try to potentially see some Pyromancer. Maybe we get in with some damage here, but we have Karn, the great creator in our deck. We have three copies of him um, or them, but Karn is great. Karn says, our opponents can't activate artifacts, but for minus two, we get to go into our sideboard. And again, with the changes in best of one in historic, we have a seven card sideboard and we get to go for any artifact, put it into our hand, and then we could potentially cast it with whatever mana we have left over. So let's take a look at what we're playing. We have one copy of Graft Digger's Cage, again, for those graveyard shenanigan decks. We have a copy of Cosmos Elixir. This is for life gain. This is gonna be repetitive life gain two life every turn, and then once we hit 20, this is gonna start netting us cards. We also have one copy of Perilous Vault. This is kind of just a panic button. Um, sometimes uh, I'm assuming that we're gonna see our opponents just have so much stuff in play and maybe we don't have removal and we just have a bunch of mana, we're not really doing anything, we're just dirtling, and we have to just reset the board. We, we have the capability, we have a reset button. Uh, five mana, exile it. We get to exile all non-land permanents. Uh, we have one copy of Deck of Many Things. I'm not sure if this should be in the sideboard, but we're going to throw it in here. We're going to see what happens. We're going to roll some dice maybe, and maybe we get to return cards from our graveyard. Maybe we get to draw cards, or um, we get to put a creature into play. I don't really want that to happen. I really just want to be drawing cards with it. We have a copy of God Pharaoh statue. This is a, a staple when it comes to Karn, the great creator make our opponent's spells cost more, uh, which is good because we're going to be destroying lands with bombardments and starve extinctions. And then it's going to kind of, you know, ping them every turn for one day. One copy of Meteor Golem, again, just in case we need to uh, have the ability to kill something. And then one copy of Platinum Angel. It is kind of a cheese card, but it's, it's really easy to be dealt with, uh, especially in Historic. There's so much creature removal. There's so much artifact removal. Uh, but again, Platinum Angel is another staple in our deck. If we're able to kill all their land and we just want to end the game quickly, this is probably how we're going to So this is the deck. Again, everyone, I just want to thank everyone for sticking with me, even though I've been so busy at work. Um, like I said, we're back. We're going to start making um, content whenever we can. I do think I might be splitting my time, though, uh, between streaming and between actually making videos maybe i'll look into actually um, just cutting some of my videos from the stream and maybe uploading content that way i know some other creators do also do that it is it is fun to kind of see that as well but um i'm up for any ideas um what really takes them a lot of time is just editing the videos and throwing them together so um you know if i had if i had somebody off in the in the on the side doing that that'd make my life a whole lot easier but this is the deck. This is Striking Star. We're gonna go for. We're gonna go play some some games. We're gonna just hop into seven quick games like we normally do, and let's see what happens. So, sit sit back. Let's cast some Star of Extinctions and just just cross our fingers and hope that uh, it's still fun doing what this is because Historic is a whole new ball game. So. All right, let's get into these games. We'll see you guys at the wrap up. Guys, we're back. I'm excited. You know, I just said how excited I was in the intro, but we're back. We're playing magic. I have time to film a video. So we're we're going back to our roots, right? We're gonna, we're gonna try to do some blood sun shenanigan. Alright, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna get rid of a mountain. We're 
We're going to undo our mulligan with this Valakut Awakening. Slivers. Slivers. All right. All right, well. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Let's just get rid of those. Start start you guys over. Good, get yeah, another one. Lucky you, lucky you. Play that at least one land tapped, right? Holy, holy slivers. We have to, I think we have to do this, right? That was a beautiful hit. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. I do want to kill this unclaimed territory. I'd like to keep this in my hand. <laughs> Thinking. Concede. Yeah, next turn we could have Star of Extinction their unclaimed territory, but I would have preferred to keep that as a card draw spell after we do this. So, but they conceded. Um, good game. Good game. Let's get on to the next one. And you know what we haven't done in a long time? We do it on stream, but... In a video, get to hydrate. Look, we uh, we got a sweet cup made. Awesome, awesome. Let's go. Opponent goes first. Oh, do we keep this? We have an anger and a storm's wrath. I think we do keep this. Okay. Um, definitely a better, just don't be a pride mate. Okay. That's, that's fine. We do get to Storm's Wrath next turn, which is hopefully good. Oh, okay. So is this the three, three? So maybe we just anger here. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, so it looks like they are playing the the combo deck. Maybe not, maybe not. So hold on. Well, this goes to three. They might have something crazy, but I think we're going to risk it, right? I think we're going to let him do one more thing here. Definitely feels like they're playing Collected Company, right? What What's the force in there for? Okay. Okay. They're going to gain life, or are they are going to... Okay. I mean, they're gonna, they're probably gonna be a little upset with this, right? I fought my hardest. Next turn, we actually get to hit their forest. Oh uh, well. Never mind. Forest into concede. We have two super quick games with this deck, so. All right, let's just get right into the next one. All right. <clears throat> On to the next game, game number three. This also be a two minute game? Who knows? I feel like I've seen this person today. We are gonna mulligan. We are gonna mulligan. We are gonna keep. We're gonna get rid of that and. 
How greedy am I? Let's pretend. This is probably a horrible thing. I mean, let's... All right, let's be reasonable. Let's be reasonable. All right, we do get to undo our mulligan. We do get to undo our mulligan. Camera. All right, they're playing. They're playing a combo deck. Do we see them? Do we see them collected company this turn. Blood artist, all right. All right, well, the good news is they get to start from square one. Don't lose any life to that. Not the worst. Not the best, though. We're not really doing much of anything over here. All right, so that's going to be the glue that holds their combo together. Yeah, I think I think we just have to do this. Not the best. Not the best. Not the best. All right, so they get to probably Fauna Shaman for Heliod. Oh, this is the Persist combo. Oh. I thought this was the other combo deck. Yep, yep. Really? You gonna sack that treasure? Because we're gonna probably get you to concede again. So, I mean, I think we just, I think we just push them back as far as possible. Get rid of this green. We basically paid for two stone rains here. Okay. We are going to... Not do much of anything. Oh, I really want to hit that green. They could they could recover from this. It could recover from this. We're gonna go and discard a mountain here to draw two. Okay. All right. Season Pyromancer. Come do your thing. They could still very easily here. Oh, yep, here we go. Here's the stupid combo. They got it. They got it. They got it. All right. Good game. Good game. Do we let it happen? Uh, so you guys, you guys get the gist of it. They perpetually give this minus so it can just bring itself back and then the blood artist is going to come back over and over again. The end. So, all right, well, we'll save us each some time there. But unfortunately, that's the combo. And even though we actually out, you know, drew out of our mulligan pretty well, um, unfortunately, that combo is dumb and 
does not belong in here, but could make for a very cheap budget deck because you really don't need any rares for that. So, but it's cool. That's a that's a deck we'll get to eventually. So, but let's just run to the next game. All right, let's not play against that combo. And again, I thought it was a whole different combo also, because there is a persist goblin combo. There is a life gain combo, and there is the perpetually not going to be able to do anything about it combo. A lot of, a lot of new decks and a lot of new combos have come to Historic since the last time we have created a video. It's kind of exciting in one way. It's kind of meh in another way. But... All right, this isn't bad. Um, would like to be playing against a creature deck. Maybe this is Merfolk. Uh, would like to also be playing, or would like to draw an Anger of the Gods, which we have done. Uh, draw a... So we actually get to next turn Blood Sun into Lotus Field into Anger of the Gods. Seems really good. And then the question is, do they concede after that? Get out of here. All right. We have access to six mana. Um, let's see. Tap three to draw. We're just going to let them put more creatures on the board. We're going to draw a card with the Mind Stone. A horrible draw. All right. Well, we are gonna we're gonna try to get him. We still have more removal, which is good. But again, we did what we wanted to do against the creature deck. Awesome. Good deal. Next game. All right, what will game five bring for us? Another quick game? A long game, perhaps? Wesley Fox. Interesting. To strike it rich. I'm going to keep this. Do this into this. Yeah, I don't hate it. This is a pretty good ramp. Ramp hand. We're still, we're still ultimately ramping up to the Star of Extinction. What's our opponent plan? Oh. Well, 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 well. I guess we're blood sunning. Oh, uh, yeah. This is going to be an interesting game. All right. All right. Let's do that. Do this. Into this. Into this. A lot of mana. This is a lot of mana. Yeah, they're they're gonna try to Mizzix mastery us. So we have to not let that happen. Not let that happen. Haphazard bombardment them. Would very much like to hit a land. All 
Perfect. Draw some cards. Seems really good. Get them down to one land. Ooh, we have we have dealt with a combo deck pretty well. We have a lot of great answers. We're gonna go get Graph Stickers Cage, and then we were set. We were set there. Woo! Dismantle. Yeah, as you can see, our deck allows us to ramp very quickly. And Season Pyromancer, such a great card. And it's a great card regardless, but the fact that you get to draw after you discard, and if you don't have any cards to discard, you're just all good. Um, we go first. This is not a great hand. I'm gonna mulligan. Yeah, I want to be. I want to be doing more stuff like. That. So I am going to keep. And I think I'm going to get rid of. So we're gonna we're gonna turn one this into that. Next turn we're gonna do this. We have three mana. We might Valakut Awakening. We might Blood Sun. I think we're gonna get rid of Season Pyromancer. I don't think Season Pyromancer is gonna get played early enough to actually matter. Again, it's not something that we're wanting to do like super early. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just run. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run this out. They can draw a card. I wonder if this is like a death and taxes type deck. This just looks like it ha It should have first strike, right? Oh, what a draw. What a draw that was. Just get rid of those. Just drew that Lotus Field like a champ. Like a champ. Rogwar, what are you doing over there? The Raven. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to draw four here. Pretty good as well. Karn doesn't really do much for us. Oh, scoops, scoops, magoops. Guys, this deck's just too fast. This deck is just too fast. Maybe we rename this to Lightning Red, but we're not playing Burn. So that wouldn't make any sense. But hey, time for the final boss. It is time for our first final battle in a long time. So let's get an opponent. We don't have a cancel button, so let's do it. Let the final battle begin. Let's see. Turn one, strike it rich, but then into nothing. We can anger the gods on turn two, but there's probably never a situation where we want to do that. So this is better-ish. Better-ish. Better, just better-ish. Red, blue. Are you, pl are you playing dumb combo? No. Not playing dumb combo. Let's 
by playing Phoenix. Yeah. Oh my god, another opt. You've got all the instants in your graveyard. Fine with that. Creation. Instant sorcery. Chose to leave the card on top. All right, land. I'm assuming they probably have some form of phoenixes and or graveyard recursion. That's fine. They just have sorcery, land, instance. They were very quick to get rid of that Karn. Very quick. Okay. So we want to what do we want to do? We do this. Get rid of that. I don't necessarily want to do that, but we're going to. I'm just going to set up for the season Pyromancer. I could probably just like throw down a Phoenix. Yep, that's what I, th that's what I thought was going to happen. Can't cast Strike at Riches. Hope to hit another Phoenix here. Maybe they anger the gods again? Or I'm sorry. Maybe they cast Arc Like Phoenix so we can anger the gods again. Yes. Overcommit, please. Overcommit. Overcommit. Please don't have another one. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of one of our strike at riches that we can't cast. Oh, you're gonna get rid of Karn, okay. Okay. Sure. We can't cast those anyway. Can't cast Faithless Looting. Oh, they're just gonna Oh, they're just gonna go for the idiot win. Whatever works, right? Red, 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 uh, island. Please don't let them have the idiot win. Bottom? Oh, so many cards. Doesn't have haste, so. A good hit.
What land do we go for? We just have to go for that. <clears throat> Come on, hit the red. Hit the red one time. One time game. Yes! Didn't matter. All right, let's gain some life. Oh, so glad we gained life there. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh, left them with the red. We're at six, though. Oh, man, that was a game. Ooh, that game was sick. We get to go and talk about this deck and how fun it is and how how we're back. So you guys stick around. We'll be right back with the wrap-up. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap up. And this deck is so sweet. Um, I did not actually expect it to work as well as it did. Um, all the synergies that I pointed out, actually, we got to see. This deck can ramp out super, super fast. It does replace cards really efficiently with the Seers and Pyromancers. The Valakut's Awakenings were great. Um, I might, in the future, maybe cut a mountain or two, maybe put in some, you know, maybe a couple copies of something else, maybe up the Karn count to four, or maybe even another Storm's Wrath count. Um, but this deck, I loved it. This deck is super sweet. If you've been following the channel, you should have most of these cards. Um, obviously the season pyromancers are kind of, uh, kind of a little expensive, but, um, there is a suitable, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but there is a suitable replacement for it. If you don't have four mythics to craft season pyromancer, um, it's a two mana spell that has rebound. That says discard a card, draw a card. So you get to cast that at the end of their turn, uh, and then you get to cast it um, again, rebound. So it's it's a suitable replacement, but it's not going to ever replace the uh, the other ability of exiling it from the graveyard to make those two one ones. But uh, yeah, we went we went six and one, and we lost to that combo deck, the um, the combo deck that I do think that they need to do a little bit of something about i don't really feel like i want to be dealing with a three card combo um i know the three card combo is pretty crazy but being able to do that on turn three is kind of busted so and you just, it just doesn't have a lot of interaction um i guess it i guess it does we did interact with it for a while but then they pulled it off so um again i'm not a fan of the perpetual cards i am a fan of a lot of the jumpstart cards but I don't know. Historic historic is a completely different, completely different uh, ball game than than what it was whenever we came, whenever we were last creating videos again three months ago. So there's been multiple sets out. But sideboard wise, um, I think our sideboard was actually able to do a lot of great things. Um, cards we did not see out of the sideboard, the deck of many things. I don't think we played at all, and then. Um, Meteor Golem or Platinum Angel. It was good to have access to those cards, but I, there was just never a time where I felt like, oh, we should go get Platinum Angel or Meteor Golem or the deck of many things. So it's it, you could switch these cards out. Um, you know, that's going to save you two mythics because, you know, deck of many things is a mythic, Platinum Angel is a mythic. So, but Cosmos Elixir, especially in that last game, you saw that huge, 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 huge. That card is great. Um, this, this deck might, and the sideboard might just go up to having two of those in the sideboard, you know, like dropping the deck of many things and going to Cosmos Elixirs. That might be good. Maybe, um, maybe a Sorcerer Spyglass somewhere in there as well to stop any potential Planeswalker issues we seem to have dodged this, this go around. But again, this deck, so much fun. I recommend giving it a shot. This, 
I I do want to let you know I did kind of toy around with trying to just do some land destruction shenanigans where you turn one strike at rich turn two stone rain and then they're just like oh I didn't expect a stone rain on turn two because back in the day land destruction used to be really busted when you were able to actually cast those land destruction spells on turn two with the help of like uh, birds of paradise or even back farther when you were playing mono black you could ritual out a sinkhole on turn one and then even um you know do something crazy and take a peek at their hand or yeah there's just there was just a lot of stuff so yeah this is the deck striking star give it a shot uh, again if you enjoyed the video um which i hope you did please like comment subscribe check out all the cool links to, below check the discord please join the discord it's so much fun in there and as well as checking out the twitch um i i want to i want to stream on twitch a little bit more so that's that guys uh again thanks so much for watching uh i hope you have uh, a great weekend a great night whatever day it is for you whatever time of the year it is depending on when you're watching this video in the future or the past but please continue to stay safe because we are still dealing with a crazy pandemic stay safe we will see you next time